take the plates off. The virus came yesterday and uh, we went through everything. Went through a teardown and set up. Spent the entire day going through everything. So today they're gonna come and pick up Stella and Wally and that's it. We got one more trip just to drop off our last few things over to the storage which is just right across the road here from uh, TTO. And we're gonna go out to the hotel. We're gonna stay at a hotel out by the Orlando airport and we'll fly out and uh, go pick up the next RV and bring it back here and get all of our stuff. Goodness gracious. Open the gray. Hey, go open the black. Go drain that. Go do this. What'd you do? Does your wife give you orders all the time? Well, I got some advice for you. <laughs> do exactly what she says. <laughs> Disney Springs and we love their brisket here. We give their brisket a probably an eight and a half. Last time we were here it was just a little bit better, but it's really, really good. One of the things I had to do before we go get our rig and come back is take the bike rack and install a fat tire kit. It's pretty easy if you follow directions like I always do. How did all this fit in that airstream? We have too much crap. This is the best Uber ride I think we've ever had. It's almost like we know these guys. Uber with friends. Yeah. yeah. Uber. <laughs> 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 gonna miss this guy. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> we love you guys. We love you too. Yeah. 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 Drive safe. This is gonna be interesting, Good folks. Oh, my goodness. We got a lot of shirts and shorts. Honey, I'm home. This, folks, will be our home for a week before we fly out to get the new overland oh good morning everybody this is where we're gonna stay for about a week we're over at the orlando airport area and we're just gonna take the shuttle here over to the airport to catch our flight but uh, this is gonna be our office set up for now one bag that we're gonna check in here that's uh, gonna have our bedding for when we get the next rv so that we have uh, already have pillows bedding everything ready to go uh, for our trip back to pick up our stuff and storage. Nice little pool area here. A few things we've got to do. Uh, one thing I've got to write up a letter. I don't know if you've ever had uh, an extended warranty and you're going to transfer it to the next owners. Um, this extended warranty that we got, we didn't purchase it. We, uh, we It was actually transferred to us when we purchased the Airstream. It's called Easy Care and you have to simply write a letter saying you want to transfer it to the new owners and their names but then you have to have the bill of sale that has the date of the sale and then both the buyer and seller's uh, signatures. And they go by that date because you have 30 days to transfer it. I'm going to go down and use the business center to uh, type up that letter. We've already got the bill of sale and signed and dated. And we'll get that sent out so that we can get that warranty transferred over. Buyers didn't really care to be on camera. We couldn't do the whole sale and all that. And one thing when you're trying to sell your rig and you're trying to show them how to do everything, worrying about running a camera at the same time is uh, gonna sidetrack you even more. It's bad enough when you're trying to set up and, and uh, tear down. It uh, kind of uh, disrupts your you're thinking of your routine they're new to the RV uh, thing so we really wanted to make sure that they were comfortable and uh, so we went over it a few times with them and hoping that they'll be okay I'm sure, we're sure they will we're hoping that we can do something here and bring you along with us of uh, everything that we have to do along the process to get our our new rig that overlander right no way it was a pop-up isn't that what it was Michelle I forgot what we got yeah yeah I guess it's a pop-up camper If 
you're ever needing to drop off mail, FedEx, whatever it is, uh, UPS, that's kind of far away, go online, there's locators. Like for the post office, there's a locator. And it brought me to this office building. So you got the post office, UPS, and FedEx. I had to mail the uh, warranty paperwork for the, for the buyers so that the warranty gets transferred over. Well, here we are Saturday. We got just a few more days before we come down to the uh, airport, which is where we're at right now. We found a bus to take us over to Florida Mall. I got to get a new phone. The gas prices and the spring brakes really increased the price of the right. rental cars. They're around 100 bucks on an average uh, per day. Per day, that's... And we both looked at each other, and, and Michelle actually said it first, I I'd rather eat at restaurants for that $100 a day than... <laughs> Lots of desserts. So luckily there's a bus stop close to our hotel. We took it and it made a stop here at the airport first. And then we're gonna get on this bus here that takes us to the Florida Mall. And uh, that's what we're doing on a Saturday. But nope, no, this, this is the filming. No more no more shopping though. We can't fit anything else in the bags we're flying out. Yeah, right. we'd have to get another check in the bag. Yeah. All right, it's Sunday morning and we leave in what? Thursday, so yep. Count, four minutes. more days. <laughs> this morning, we're hopping on over to IHOP. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're not breakfast people usually, and uh, for some reason, when you stay at a hotel and they have the free breakfast, yeah. it makes you like tempts you to eat breakfast. And then you have enough of that hotel food, right. and now you got a routine started. And we hear IHOP has gluten free waffles and pancakes. Do I match the IHOP smiley? You do. Okay, that's enough. Well, we did it again. We went to eat somewhere and we <laughs> forgot to show you the food. But <laughs> we were so excited and hungry that we just dove into our food. But you know, I, typical IHOP breakfast. However, how did what did you think of the gluten-free? Yeah, pancakes? if you did, if you didn't know that they had gluten-free pancakes and waffles, they do, and they're really good. Yeah, I took a bite too, and I'm like, oh my god, I wouldn't have even known they were gluten-free. I could have ate those times, but I had regular yeah. blueberries. These are actually really good. Yeah. So we rank them right up there an eight or eight and a half for sure. gluten free. Hers was not gluten free. They were blueberry. And yeah, eight, eight and a half. I mean, like, it's a chicken. I hop. It's. We just wanted to let you know in case you're gluten free that they do have it. Plus, it's within walking distance of our hotel. <laughs> We have no transportation. Well, we have some, the bus, but who yeah, wants we, to ride that? We don't want to go there. We're going to go back to the hotel and uh, we're going to chit chat. A lot of you already know this, but we were offering the truck and the Airstream to our viewers, to you first. Selling at a, a lower price to our viewers, just kind of trying to pay it forward. If it didn't sell, then we were gonna put it out on the market, which we never had to because one of our viewers, uh, mm -hmm. a couple decided to buy it. And okay. uh, yeah, so it, it took time. They had to go through the, the whole process and uh, finally just sold this this uh, past week. I know we've said this before, but we better put this on video <laughs> so that everybody understands because um, not everybody reads the comments that uh, when someone's asking us and we're explaining it. We have an agreement with the manufacturer that we're not to release that quite yet. We just have to abide by what we agreed to with this manufacturer. But the whole process takes time. I mean, we had to do that. Now uh, we've got all of our stuff in storage and we're here at a hotel. Uh, we're waiting for a week before our flight goes out and that's uh, this coming Thursday and then uh, the RV is supposed to be ready. Also remember that our videos are a couple weeks behind. We, we do videos and then we schedule them mm -hmm. and uh, we try to be like four weeks ahead so that if something happens unforeseen, we still have videos scheduled so there's no gaps in between. But right now we're only two weeks. So everything that you're seeing, this video right now was about two weeks uh, prior. So that's where we're at with this. This isn't meant to drag on or milk, as some <laughs> er, one person said. Yeah, you're so funny. Uh, <laughs> not really. It's not meant to drag this on and cause drama or whatever. We are not drama people. Our video that came out a couple weeks ago or oh, yeah. about Kiwa Springs, when Michelle wasn't talking yeah. very much. You care to explain that, Michelle? Uh, we got a lot of slack about that. I didn't look happy, I didn't talk much. Well, she wasn't. She wasn't happy. You were, you were right about that part. <laughs> and everybody was speculating, oh my gosh, she doesn't want to, you know, go through this transition and all this stuff. 
Okay, so I was having a horrible migraine that day. Got to the point where it was making me very nauseous. Yeah. And uh, so we went to the Gideon's Bakehouse and um, had the, the cookie and everything. And I was like, I don't know if that well, made it worse or whatever. But through that whole day, um, it kind of felt like I was getting better. And then all of a sudden it got worse again. And by the time we got to the springs, it, I was just... I was feeling so sick. Yeah, and you might be wondering, you know, why did you even go at all? Well, she thought she was feeling a little bit better, and she right. she took some like Excedrin. Yeah. And... Plus, we needed to do a video. We Ooh, had to. Yeah. It's the weekend. We had to do a video, and so you know, I, I just did it and hoping for the best. Hoping for the best, but it ended up getting I, worse. I, and I, um, I we didn't mention it that day because when you're not feeling good, you don't really want people to take pity on you or whatever. So. Uh, I just didn't think, yeah. you know, it would be that big of a deal, but holy cow, we got a lot of flack. It's like, maybe we should have just mentioned it at the very beginning. I know, we didn't think of it. So just put all that drama and um, <laughs> speculation out the window because yeah. that, you guys were wrong. Basically, I was just the very feeling few. very sick that day. Yeah. Um, Majority of you have been very kind and, yeah. and understand. And, we didn't advertise the, the unit for sale, by the way, on our video because we placed it in our email list first for those that were subscribed to our Living Our Vision email list and our Facebook group. Uh, we wanted to give the opportunity to them first because they're not just watching our videos, but they're also, you know, subscribed to our email right. list and our Facebook group. And then after that, if we didn't have a buyer, then we were going to make it available on video. But we, we had some, yeah, didn't get that far. <laughs> we had somebody right away, but it took them a while to yeah. get, you know, as it does. Yeah, it's during, a process. During the process. So, so I, what, what would you say, like, this has been like at least a month now? It's been a little over a month. A little over yeah. A month, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it takes a while. So, hopefully, if all goes well after this video right here, next week, the video to, of the reveal will be out. We're hoping. Fingers crossed. We're trying to do everything as it happens. We're, we're not like pausing and putting everything aside and jumping forward and then send you back in time. We're just trying to do everything as it really happens. We're trying to be real. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes that's, as you know, sometimes that's not good enough. And that being said, I think sometimes... Plane. Major plane. Big plane. We are by the airport. Can you hear us? <laughs> Hold, please. Good grief. Okay. Um, what was I talking about? I don't know. That was like really loud. And like... Uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> I think sometimes you have people that probably do this make these comments on purpose you know you've heard of the trolls that are out there that always try to cause drama that's okay we understand that sometimes the best thing to do is probably just to delete the comments if you're not going to be positive we don't want that on the channel we're trying to make it a positive community we're being honest if you don't trust us there's plenty of other channels right. to go watch Move if you, along. yeah <laughs> She is rude. I've had coffee and caffeine today, so... You, you can know, always tell. A little hype, though. And no, and no migraine, can you tell? Yeah. Let's keep this community uh, just a positive one. We right. don't mean to be rude. We're not trying to be rude no. at all. We're just we're yeah. just trying to be real. Yeah. That's, that's just us. So. so, on another note... Yeah. Um, I assume... Uh, and I'm asking you because you're in charge of all of that. What am I videos and oh. stuff like that, but um, I assume with our this new transition, this will be quote the start of our new season, uh -huh. and we're going to have a new little intro. Yes, new music, new, new music, intro. New I know intro. you like the one, but we we reached out and uh, we found a musician to create a personalized song for us, and we love it. We hope you do too. <laughs> and. Uh, that will probably release on the next video as well. So yeah, we are excited about it. I forgot about that. Yeah. You can always tell when she's had caffeine because she does this little dance Well, and when she's talking. My mind is clearer. <laughs> Mine when I have caffeine? Yeah. <laughs> Don't give him caffeine. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're going to jump in the pool, clothes on and all. <laughs> and uh, we will call it a day. See you next week. 
let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.